If you're like most people, you've probably signed hundreds of contracts without ever reading them. But what if you were a corporate director and the contract you failed to read was an agreement to sell the whole company? In Smith v. Van Gorkum, the directors found out the hard way that they had a duty to read the fine print. Jerome Van Gorkum was the chairman and CEO of a company called TransUnion. In August of 1980, Van Gorkum realized that the company had accumulated so many credits on its taxes that the credits were even larger than the profits they were supposed to offset. If the company didn't act soon, the credits would expire and go to waste. Van Gorkum decided to solve the problem by merging TransUnion with another company that could use the credits to offset profits of its own. Van Gorkum made the merger happen with incredible speed. Without ever talking to TransUnion's board of directors or telling other senior executives the full details of his plans, Van Gorkum met with an investor named Jay Pritzker. Van Gorkum offered to sign a merger agreement that would let Pritzker acquire all of the company's shares for $55 per share. Within five days, Pritzker accepted. Two days later, Van Gorkum called a meeting of TransUnion's board of directors to tell them about the deal for the first time. The meeting came together so quickly that Van Gorkum didn't have time to print a copy of the merger agreement, let alone conduct a formal study of the company's value. With no documents to review, the board listened to Van Gorkum describe the deal for 20 minutes, and then, after just two hours of deliberations, the board approved. The final agreement gave TransUnion the right to accept bids from other buyers for the next 90 days, but prohibited TransUnion from actively soliciting other bids or helping other bidders by sharing with them the company's confidential information. That night, Van Gorkum signed the merger agreement during a social event at the Chicago Lyric Opera. He later admitted that neither he nor the other directors had ever read the agreement. A class of TransUnion shareholders sued TransUnion's directors for breach of fiduciary duty. The Delaware Court of Chancery granted judgment for the directors, and the shareholders appealed to the Delaware Supreme Court.